Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine Destine back with another nail tutorial. Okay, so if you guys want to see how my nails went from very blah, very regular, you know, just the natural nail to these. Then make sure you guys keep watching, of course. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up down below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. And let's just get right into this video. Okay, period. Okay, so I'm just starting out with filing the shine off of my natural nail. I'm using this McCart nail file. Um, I'm using the softer side. It's 100 grit on one side and 180 grit on the other. So I'm using the 180 and I'm just buffing off the shine off of my natural nail um, because you want to make sure that you don't have the shine on there so that your products actually stick to your nail. I feel like I go into depth on why I do every step every single time I do a nail tutorial because you know I always have new viewers but realistically speaking if you're watching these kinds of videos you probably already have an understanding of why you know you do certain things when doing your nails so I'm not gonna be super in detail this time around just because I feel like this should just move a little bit quicker, you know? <laughs> so I just went in and I cut um, any dead cuticle skin um, from around my nail. And now I'm just going in and I'm pushing back my cuticles as well. And I'll trim away any um, excess cuticle that does not need to be there. I'm actually a little disappointed because when filming this video, I started off filming with um, my DSLR camera and that camera actually like completely stopped working in the middle of me filming and I lost some footage. So after this, it is going to skip forward just a little bit. Um, so I was kind of upset about that, but I still feel like I got the gist of everything. So what? It essentially skipped was me picking out my Apre soft gel nails which I show you guys in every video and then also me doing the first color um, with this set so as you guys saw it's like a nude kind of gradient deep smile French I don't really know what to call this design um, I saw an inspo photo on Pinterest and I was just like you know what I want to try and recreate this I am using some new little tools today um, as you guys can see I have like a little clear hanger hook that I got from Target it came in a pack of two um, I actually bought these to use in my apartment, but I didn't end up using the second one And then when I went to go and do my nails, I was like, oh my god I can use this and a little bit of this earthquake putty that I got off of Amazon a while ago Like a really long time and I can use this to do my nails and oh my god I will say this made designing the inside of these nails so much easier because I didn't use this at first the first like two or three nails that I did I was just holding them with my fingers and it was just hard to maneuver the nail obviously it's a really small nail um, and holding it while also trying to paint on the inside is really hard it's it's possible but it's just a lot more difficult the second I started using this um, clear hanger hook with a little bit of the putty I literally I started moving so quickly like I was just going through the nails so quickly so I did the first um, color which was this really pale yellow as you guys can see on the nail and then I go in with a more tan color so as I move on the colors are going to get darker um, I would say What's most important is the cleanup after you lay down a color. So it's a very deep like V shape almost, right? Um, what's gonna give you that really clean and crisp line for the next color to be laid down is when you actually go in and you like clean it up. So you guys are gonna see me lay the color down like I'm doing right now, but then I go in with a clean nail brush um, it's actually like a mini paintbrush, but I go on with a clean brush and some alcohol and I'm actually going to like clean up the line so that I get really nice straight lines. But right now I'm just working on 
laying that color down and making sure that it's really opaque. So I did two layers for every color that you see. And then this is me going in with that clean brush and a little bit of alcohol on the brush. And I'm just cleaning up the very edge of that design. This is gonna give me super clean lines. And then when I go in with the next color, it's gonna look really, really nice layered. So I'm essentially working from the tip of the nail down to where the cuticle would be. Um, going in with the next color, this is a deeper brown color, like a chocolate brown. These colors are really pretty. I got them in a set of six off of Amazon. Everything that I use will be down below. Um, in this just in the description box linked for you guys they will be affiliate links just to let you know but you don't have to shop through the link if you don't want to but if you want to help your girl out you can do that too I will say that after every color I am curing underneath my UV lamp off camera like I have it off to the side of me like right next to me I'm curing for 30 seconds to really like I just want to lock that color in if I like the way that it looks and I'm happy with my results I don't want to obviously go in with the next color before curing because then they'll mix I'm not trying to do like an ombre I want it to be very distinct very clean lines so I'm laying the color down cleaning up with that clean brush and a little bit of alcohol and then I'm sticking it under the lamp for 30 seconds to just set it in place um, and this is what it's looking like so far. I've got three colors laid down on this nail. I'm really, really happy with the way that it looks. I just need to focus on making sure that it's opaque. So I picked up another nail. I believe this is the same size, which, which is why it looks like it's the same nail. But I know this is the second layer for this nail. And I'm just going in and I'm doing the same thing. And I'm making sure that it's really opaque and that those lines are really clean. Okay, and now I went in with the fourth color and I'm showing you guys what it looks like on this nail that I already finished. Again, this color is from the same Beatles gel polish set. So I'm going to replicate that same design on the next nail for you guys. So I'm just sticking the nail onto my little putty that I have. And then I take my paintbrush. This color is like a blackened brown, almost like has a slight purple undertone to it. It's really pretty. And honestly, this little six polish set is perfect for any fall looks. I wanted to do a fall inspired set now that summer is over. Y'all know summer is over. <laughs> um, and I just wanted to, yeah, I wanted to do like a fall inspired set, something that was like nudes, browns, cream tones. Um, I really wanted to do French. I literally just pulled up Pinterest on my phone and I saw this photo and I was like, yeah, I literally, I need to do this. This design was so pretty. I'm going to have, um, have it on the screen actually because I realized that I showed it to you guys in the footage that is no longer existent on my camera, which I'm so bummed out about, but it's okay. So I will say that with this color, I feel like I should have done a little bit less of it. Like I don't feel like it needed to come all the way up to the cuticle. Honestly, I could have given myself a more rounded out like smile line as opposed to like such a dramatic V. But it was also my first time attempting a design like this ever. So, you know, just learning from trial and error. The next time I do attempt to do this design again, I'll definitely do it a little bit different but I'm still very pleased with the way that everything turned out. And I also felt like at this point, I kind of knew what I was doing. Like I had gotten more comfortable maneuvering the paintbrush um, and creating the shape that I was going for on every single nail. So by the time I finished like two nails, I was like, okay, like let's just bust through the rest of these. And I feel like I did it fairly quickly. Thank you. 
Okay, so that's what that nail's looking like. I'm gonna take it off and put it under my UV lamp that's off to the side for 30 seconds, and I'm gonna start working on the next nail. And I kind of just start off by doing like a little semicircle kind of U shape, and then I just drag the lines down on either side, kind of just overlapping that color that was there before. I really feel like with this set, I was really challenging myself. I felt like my inner artist really had to come out and show out because this design was not easy. Like if you want it to look a certain way, and I'm such a perfectionist, I wanted it to look as much like the photo as possible. Like you really have to have a steady hand and you just have to take your time honestly. You really can't rush. Um, so I was here for hours. I think this set took me probably like seven hours to do. I split it in two different sessions. I was like three and a half hours for one and I would say three hours for the other. So maybe like six and a half. This nail came out so pretty, that's the pinky. Okay, so now we're ready for prep. So I'm gonna go in with my pH bond dehydrator and I'm going to apply that to every single nail. This is just really good nail prep so that your nail sets last for at minimum three weeks. My sets last between two to three weeks. Then I'm going in with my acid-free primer from a prey and I'm applying a single layer of this to my natural nail. And then I go in with my Gelish foundation. I literally use this in every single video. And I just wanna say I've had this um, set of the Gelish kit for over a year now, so it's definitely worth the money. I believe it's like $43, I think, on Amazon. I don't know if the price has gone up or gone down, but definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. You're gonna cure for 30 seconds under a UV LED lamp. And I'm gonna repeat the same process on my thumb. Next, I'm gonna go in with my McCart Poly Gel. This is in the shade Daydream. I love this color because it gives a very natural, like pale, a little peachy pink. So it's perfect for French sets. It's perfect for anything that you would want to give like that really natural pink tone, like almost like flesh tone, but not super nude, if that makes sense. It's honestly, it's just the perfect poly gel color for anything like French or nude. Um, I really, really love it. I got it off of Amazon and I just applied a small bead to the pinky nail and I'm going to apply it in the same way that I would apply the Apre if I was using the Extend Gel that's um, normally sold with the Apre soft gel nails. So I like using poly gel because I just feel like it's easier to maneuver. It's not super like drippy and like goopy, if that makes sense, the way that the Extend Gel is. I feel like I have a really hard time um, not having the Extend Gel kind of just get everywhere. Like it's a little too messy for me. So I personally just like using poly gel with my Apre soft gel nails um, you apply the bead it literally doesn't go anywhere like you guys can see it's pretty stiff so it gives me the time to apply the right amount of pressure lay it down make sure that the nail is in the perfect position and then I can grab my UV lamp and I can cure it in that place 
with the extend gel you have to move quickly you don't really have a lot of like not that it starts to dry or anything but you have to move quickly because it starts to move around too much and that's why I don't really use it with the Apray nails so I did make a little boo-boo I don't know if you guys noticed on the pinky nail there was something on the inside of the nail that I didn't realize was on the inside I thought it was on the outside of the nail before I applied the poly gel so I actually ended up like you know curing it in place it was probably just some like um something from the alcohol or maybe even the slip solution i'm not really sure but there's like a little white like thing on on the pinky nail on this hand which i was a little bummed out about because it's not perfect obviously but i learned and after that i made sure to clean the inside of the nail before i applied any of the poly gel on the inside just to make sure that that did not happen again because I was kind of annoyed like when I realized that I was like are you serious but it's okay look at how good the nails look do you see that poly gel it just looks so perfect and this was so fast like once the nails were already designed when I went in with just the poly gel bead and applying it to my nail I did this whole process like my whole hand in under 10 minutes it was so fast I was like why haven't I always done it like this I don't know in the past I've applied poly gel on the inside of the nail and then like patted it you know flat so that it covered the whole surface area of the nail and I just felt like that was super time consuming I've never been able to do it in like a one a one ball or one bead method like I am now but now that I've unlocked this this is going to be so much like I swear every single time I do my nails I just get quicker and quicker like and I just get better and more time efficient and I'm so happy about that because you know I be doing my own nails and it takes me damn near all day so I will, anything that I can do to essentially cut down time, I'm all here for it. We're at the point where my nails are on. As you guys can see, I've got a full set. Um, now I'm just going to be lightly filing and shaping. These nails really don't require much shaping. They're already sculpted and shaped for you. That's the whole point. But um, they do have like a little kind of like bump at the top of the nail, I guess, where they're cut out of their molding. So you definitely want to buff that away. And then I also just like to buff off the top layer. Um, I just feel like it gives it a really like smooth and more crisp look if you kind of buff it and then you apply your top coat and I was also hoping that the nail that I messed up on which was the pinky I'd be able to buff away but it was definitely under the nail so after all of my um, buffing and shaping and filing this is what the nails look like they look so good oh my god I can't wait to go in with this top coat I'm using my top it off from the gelish kit and I'm gonna do a single layer of this on all of my nails and you guys you need to just get into all the glory that is these nails like they just look so good it's giving me like groovy like funky vibes I don't know why I'm feeling like it's a very like 70s esque it's giving me like that kind of vibe too um, major fall fall vibes I just love it I love it so much these came out so good I'm so happy I'm gonna cure the first four fingers just so that nothing starts to like drip or move around and then I'm gonna move on to the thumb and re repeat the same process cure for 30 seconds And my nails look so good oh my god they're so cute look at this design I can't believe 
Then I'm gonna go in with the Nourish Cuticle Oil from the Jellish Kit, and I'm just gonna apply this to my cuticles. As you guys know, this is my favorite part because it just makes my nails look so healthy and yummy. Just good. They just look good, okay? All right, and that is the completed set. Let me know down below what you guys think of these nails. This by far, I feel like skill set wise has to be my most complicated um nail set yet and i'm actually so 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 pleased with the way that it turned out if you guys like this video then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you on my next upload bye